going on guys? Samantha here and I am back from my trip to Colorado. Um, I didn't really take much pictures unfortunately. I took as many as I could uh, but given the fact that I was only there for the funeral um, you know there was really not much to do or to be taken care of like what pictures to be taken care of. I probably took like maybe a couple of sunrises, a couple of sunsets um, my, on my way back to the airport back to the airport um but i did pick up a couple of constellation prizes i do have a whole mess of pictures blast from the past um i do have pictures of me when i was a kid i did have pictures of me um with my family my dad my mom my sister um i do have a few pictures of my grandmother i also have pictures of my grandfather um and, you know, it, again, it just, it, it was a blast, it's a blast from the past for me, and, and it was just, oh my god, who the hell was I back then? Um, for those that are wondering, the funeral went well. I didn't kick any ass, which kind of sucked, because there was a couple of people that I wanted to knock out. Um, but I do have to get a couple of things off of my chest about the funeral. My aunt had brought a few friends with her. And this is complete disrespectful for, for them to do this because, one, they didn't really know who my grandmother was. They never really met her, I don't think. But And number two, all they ever did was give me, my sister, and my grandmother's caregivers freaking dirty looks. Like, you know, it's like, I'm going to kick your ass or, yeah, you know, like, ee, 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 like, you know, too fucking snooty and all that stuff. That is the blatant and ultimate disrespect. And if anybody ever does that to me or my sister again, I will knock them out. I will kick their ass. But seeing as how, you know, it was a sober, it was a um, moment of time and all that stuff where, you know, violence is never the answer. I just growled under my breath and just gave my aunt hugs and stuff and just saying, yeah, I'm sorry. This sucks. But the other ultimate blatant disrespect came from my aunt's husband. Um, he never showed up until like maybe a minute after the funeral was done he just showed up whatever you know just whatever um but the reason for that is just you know all they all my some of my family members I, I got to meet some extended family members which you know I I didn't even know my aunt my uh, grandmother had sisters so i have great aunts which is amazing you know because i even met a few of them i'm all three of them were there because there were three older sisters um and she they all three of them were just the sweetest kindest most awesome aunt great aunts i've ever met in my life and i can't thank them enough for you know being there for my grandmother and you know and they 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 just they just loved me. And they're like, oh, you should bring the kids sometime. So there is a good chance that I will go back to my home state and I will be taking more pictures. Um, but that's further wrong down the line. But um, unfortunately, you know, given the fact there was like maybe 50, 60 people that showed up at the funeral, um, extended family, you know, great cousins, twice removed, that kind of thing. It was divided in between. It was divided in the middle. And I just, the one thing that I don't like is bad blood between family members. Um, on one half, there's me, my sister, my caregiver, my grandmother's caregivers, um, my great aunts, you know. And then the other side is my aunt, my cousin, and his family. Um, everybody was just divided in the middle, and it, it, it really... It really pissed me off. All I could do was just clench my fist, prevent myself from punching somebody in the face. It just, it was bad. You could, you could cut the tension with a knife, and that's how bad it was. It was just, it was bad, you know? And it was all because one person decided to make a choice of thinking about material possessions and money rather than honor 
and respect the memories of those that have that have passed. And it just it really frustrated me. It really did. But on the plus side, I did get a chance to spend some time with a um, an old friend of mine. Um, I kind of whooped his butt in bowling. <laughs> uh, but he did kick my ass in arcade. So in some ways, it kind of evens out. I don't know. Whatever. And I hope to spend some more time with more friends and all that stuff in the future. But again... I don't even know what's going to happen. I don't know when I'm going to be going back. Probably during the summer or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, again, the trip was great. Again, everything was just bittersweet. Um, and I do have several pictures of me when I was a baby. And it was... <laughs> it's just so cute. Because, yeah, this is... Um, if you guys are wondering what I looked like when I was a baby, here I am. <laughs> I was such a cutie back then. Look at that. Look at him. Look at me. I was just so cute, you know. And as I grew and grew and, you know, I got to know my aunt, my grandmother and grandfather very well and all that stuff. So, uh, but when I was a baby, um, I did... Or this was a year before I was born. Um, this was my family. My uncle, Uncle Kelly, which is on the other side right here. Uh, my mom, my father, my older sister, and then my other older sister. I have two older sisters, but I think I might have one because the other passed away. Um, this was me. <laughs> in the purple shirt, uh, sitting on my mom's lap. And then um, I was five years old at the time, um, before things went to hell in the handbasket. Um, my sister and my father, of course. And as time grew and grew and grew, I grew a lot. And now I'm this person. Me. So, but... Again, I've gotten a lot of pictures from my mom, a lot of pictures of my mom, my grandparents, um, and it was just, it's its amazing. It's absolutely amazing, and, you know, I wish I'd gotten this for my, uh, for my daughter when they were honoring and celebrating Veterans Day, because in this picture here, I don't know if you guys can see it, let me arrange it, there we go, uh, my grandfather was in this picture. Um, he is right here where my index finger is. That's my father. And I think he served in the um, Korean War as well as the Vietnam War. So he was a great man, and my grandmother was a great woman. So, and I even got a couple of pictures of... I even got a picture of my daughter because <laughs> I sent her a picture of my daughter when she was maybe about one or two. That's my little girl. <laughs> and then you see her in the background here. That's my other, that's my daughter now. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have to show you guys, really. Um, I may post more pictures or I might put it in like a little video compilation and, you know, let you experience a blast from the past, <laughs> a blast from my past. Um, but yeah, that's, that was it. That's all I needed to really say. I will continue more videos in here pretty soon and all that stuff. Um, and it was, it was a good trip, but unfortunately, you know, there's still bad blood between certain members of my family and I really, I really don't like it. I hate it. So. I will be making more videos. Um, I, again, I will be promoting, do some more promotion videos and all that stuff. Um, if you really want some true followers or true subscribers, real subscribers, uh, feel free to post your YouTube channel link um, in the comments. 
um, as well as find me on Discord, Twitter. I'll post those links in the description. Um, and I will be making an announcement that sometime soon I will be doing a live stream, um, not only to try to raise money for um, cancer research, my phone, for cancer research, but I will try to help uh, with Offmain and his YouTube channel because um, he took a huge hit. Um, but, you know, it's for him to subscribe to him. Um, I will post his YouTube channel in the link down below. Um, but basically what the live stream is is just him. I'll be playing his videos from his YouTube channel. Um, and that's basically all I'll be doing, really. So, um... There's that. <laughs> Alrighty, so, again, if you guys want me to help you with your promotion with, with promotion and all that stuff, feel free to post your YouTube channel in the comments. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.